Hey guys, welcome back to the Cool Classic Kids Show, and today we have to talk about, well, corporate pandering, excuse making for a giant mega corporation. Uh, and this revolves around PlayStation because, well, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but PlayStation 5 got no games. And, uh, you know, we're the first half of 2023 is about to be done. This is, we're in the middle of the third year of the PS5 life cycle. And we just haven't gotten anything. And that's pretty crazy to me because even, well, the first year of the PS5, there was a decent amount of content to go on, given most of it kind of meh. And, well, even the second year was pretty well subsidized with games. Uh, here in the third year, man, first half of the year, there's nothing. And, you know, depending on third party is, is not the answer. And neither is saying, well, the reason why PlayStation doesn't have any um, games from PlayStation Studios because, well, they don't need to try because Xbox is inferior competition to the PlayStation. And that is an absolutely garbage sentiment. PlayStation said that you should buy our console because it is indeed the best console on the market. Their obligation is to you, the PS5 owner, to deliver content for the hardware. After all, at the end of the day, the hardware isn't what makes the big bucks. It's the software that makes the big bucks. And yes, you can um, say that, well, the PS5s are selling insane on insane levels. Okay, that's cool, but I already own two of them. Um, where's the games? Where are the interesting games? Where is any games at all? Because, um, you know, saying, oh, we got four spoken, even though it's third party anyway, is not an excuse. I'm um, saying the fact, well, PlayStation doesn't have to try because Xbox isn't compete isn't competition to force sony's hand that's a bs excuse um complete total uh, nut gargling from playstation fanboys i don't like it guys i don't like it at this point and even i said this on twitter at this point um soon playstation fanboys are going to start to blame xbox for their dual sense thick drift i mean you might as well go that far right at the end of the day playstation's obligation is to you the person that bought the ps5 and if they aren't holding to that, especially year three in the life cycle, um, there's something wrong here. It sucks. And I'm hoping that this will change relatively quickly. There is rumors of a PlayStation showcase coming up fairly shortly. I'm hoping, hoping for the best. Want to see good games. At the end of the day, I don't care where the games are. I just want good games. And I will go where I need to go to get them. And while I'm looking forward to Final Fantasy 16, it's actually most, my most anticipated game of the year. Um, that That isn't... That isn't the answer when really all PlayStation did was basically play, uh, pay Square Enix for exclusivity rights for like what a year or some bullshit like that. Uh, that's not the answer. I want Sony first party to take full advantage of that hardware. I think that's what anybody would obviously want. And look, I am hoping, I am hoping that this turns around, but I have, you know, a funny feeling that not much is going to come out. This entire year for PlayStation. It seems like possibly um, Spider-Man 2 will be a thing, which is cool. I'm looking forward to Spider-Man 2 because I did enjoy Marvel Spider-Man 1 on uh, PS4 and even bought, repurchased it uh, for the PS5. So, you know, on that front, I did enjoy the game. So I'm looking forward to Spider-Man 2. I'm hoping that they actually up, uh, up the stakes, make it a little more interesting, especially from, you know, gameplay mechanics. But uh, I digress. I just don't see very much coming out this year. I'm hoping to be wrong. Please, at this next showcase, prove me wrong, Sony. Have a damn good lineup. Uh, we know that you know PlayStation Studios is working on a lot of games, and they have, well, what is it, 10? Uh, not multiplayer games, but games as a service games. You know, the mass majority of those are likely to fail. And sad to say, sad to report that it seems as though already one has indeed failed before it even got released. And that is because, well, Deviation Games, uh, they are basically were contracted by PlayStation Sony to make a games as a service game for the platform. And apparently they were hit with a lot of layoffs. The studio is currently working on an original IP that will be published by Sony. PlayStation back studio Deviation Games has been hit with layoffs, with sources telling VGC as many as 90 members of staff may have been affected. Several now ex-employees of Deviation have announced 
their departure on social media with software engineer uh, Kyle Paris writing that my studio recently ran into a difficult situation was forced to make a number of layoffs, which I was a part of. That is, you know, that really sucks. I hope that these people are able to bounce back relatively quickly. But it seems as though this particular game is in trouble. And this is a game that I believe was announced in like 2021, if I'm not mistaken, around, mistaken, around that time period. I even remember the announcement video where they talked about it. And, uh, you know, this individual says a bunch of my colleagues and friends were laid off from Deviation Games today. If any recruiters have any positions, please consider hiring some of these wickedly talented folks. And it really sucks, man. It sucks to see. Especially since, well, it was, I'm looking forward to multiplayer games. Not necessarily games as a service games. But, I mean, if, if the game itself is fun, then you know what? I can pop maybe deal with the, the games as a service aspect. It just depends on how um, insane the, the money aspect of said game is. If it's pay to win and all that, I, you know. But uh, here we have other people discussing the layoffs. Uh, VGC has reached out to both Sony and Deviation for comment and will update the story when we receive a response. In September of last year, one of Deviation Games' co-founders, Chief Creative Officer Jason uh, Blundell, left the studio. The studio is developing an original IP, which will be published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Deviation was reportedly over 100 strong in 2021 when it signed a deal with Sony. At the writing of this article, the studio is not currently advertising any open roles. We're drawing on on what we've learned over our uh, collective decades making games, but we're also out to make something fresh, brimming with innovation like you've never experienced before. Anthony told PlayStation Blog 2021, we're not afraid to say that our ambitions are super high and we're setting out to make a huge, content-rich game. Uh, look, guys. It's, um, this is concerning because, well, this was a studio that as far back as it seems uh, had a hundred members, maybe they hired some more, but I have a hard time believing they essentially, you know, hired an insane amount of staff. Uh, this could very well be the mass majority of their staff. So who knows if this game is even still going to be a thing, sadly. So that's one that isn't looking so hot right now. Overall, man, just stop with the corporate cocksucking. It's really what it is. Um, call out PlayStation for not having any games out. Call out PlayStation when they, you know, don't live up to expectation. And I think that the expectation for year three of the PS5 life cycle was to be full of PlayStation exclusive games. If not year three, then fucking when? And we know that they have a lot of talent. That's what's disappointing about this year so far that they have so much talent, yet we're not seeing the results of said labor. And it's fair to, to say these things. It's fair to be honest. It's not Xbox's fault that PlayStation has no fucking games. And the, and the thing is, you have to keep it 100, guys. I called out Xbox last year for not having any fucking games, because they didn't. They absolute cancer last year. A nothing burger. And so far this year, PlayStation is also a nothing burger. So keep it 100 all around, guys. Stop with the BS and stop making excuses for mega corporations. But yeah, guys, um, we'll see. Hoping that when this does get uploaded, that the PlayStation event does end up getting announced and effectively making this video um, written off by some people, even though just because just because there will be an announcement of a PlayStation event doesn't necessarily mean that the first half of this year was empty, barren as fuck, or that the second half of the year will be filled richly with games. Don't come here pretending that that shit is going to be, uh, you know, necessarily the slate will be wiped clean. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this. If you can like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, or kick if you want to continue the conversation. Ran into a lot of salt. Oh my god, for my last uh, my last Zelda videos. We're gonna talk about that and a lot more this Thursday on my Cult Classic Cages Twilight Zone podcast. It's basically for the off week when we don't have the Too Real for Feels podcast where I kind of just do my own thing by myself. And you guys are welcome to come hang out with me. I'm looking forward to it because, man, 
There is a damn good lot of salt. There's a lot of interesting things to talk about. So hope to see you there. And you guys, uh, with all that being said, I'm out. Peace.